far, you know, far right back this one. Far right back. Did he stop? Right, that's an easy jump. Okay, let's play. I was looking in the film right now for a great spot and not for victory. Beautiful ball, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a long view, but I just know. That's a beautiful ball, Coach. Yeah. Look at it. Cool. Yeah. Well done. That was exciting. <laughs> Bush pigs. Oh, Texas style bush Thank pigs. Thanks, Custom. Thanks, Bunny. <laughs> Me, I'm taking the Java. You're not getting it. <laughs> well, we stuck it out. This is one of the things that we were waiting for after we kind of killed the main species that we wanted. And not take that, not I guess take our luck continues. I'm not giving you. Thanks, <laughs> Tristan. <laughs> The second last morning of our hunt, um, we've had a bit of weather change the last two days, all due to the moon change as well. Um, went out this morning, drove along one of the little creeks there where there's a lot of water that we, that I thought we might have a chance and Colton actually asked me, he said if the two main animals left, Bushpig and Gracebuck, which one do you think we're more likely to get? And I said, well, definitely a Gracebuck because we've been seeing a lot more of them. Um, we found where something had killed a kudu cow last night, it was very interesting to see. Definitely wild dogs or hyena, um, I don't think that leopard can eat that much in one night, especially on a kudu cow. And um, just tagging along, driving along, talking and looking around, uh, looking in the termite mounts for the grace buck, paying attention to that. Our cameraman started having kind of like the fits next to us. <laughs> Um, sounded like he's having a heart attack or a panic <laughs> attack or something and I just heard bush pig bush pig and looked in the far distance to the right where they were talking and saw this group of bush pig running. Um, I kind of thought that the male would be in the back, that's normally the, the, the situation. And yeah, in the, in the open plains here in Mufunta they can sometimes take off so we made some, some quick movements. Um, I did eventually see the, the big ball was falling behind. Um, it was some quick shooting Colton, your, your first shot actually hit him, I thought that you had shot over him or behind him because he was kind of moving when you shot, mm -hmm. um, but to my surprise, I mean the bullet went just straight through um, on where you had shot, I thought it would have stayed in on inside, sure. so I saw the dust bounce in the back, um, but you actually did hit him, he ran about another 15, 20 yards and stopped again, and, but that was actually not stopping, you You shot him while he was running as well, second shot freehand, made a good shot right in the top lungs there and put him down and yeah, in front of us the result of a very, very, very nice uh, bush pig, um, congratulations on a very nice trophy. Thanks Werner, yeah this one was eight years in the making, this has been on the list since the very first time. I made it to Africa, so that was that was worth the wait for sure. And I'm excited to see how they taste too. Yeah, I've heard they're pretty good to eat. So yeah, no, for sure. Now we just got to go find one more animal, and we'll have like the most perfect safari in the history of safaris. <laughs>